I will get started. Hello, everyone. Good morning. Um, today, uh, I would be talking about uh, uh, exploring the Space Ranger uh, summary metrics uh, file. So in today's presentation, we would like just uh, get a, like we'll say about a brief overview for what is a Space Ranger, uh, what are, what is the uh, web summary files by 10x genomics? What are the components to it? And uh, like, what is the summary metrics.csv file? And uh, what are the most commonly used uh, metrics? Uh, what kind of data we are looking at? And try to compare uh, the data, uh, compare the metrics for uh, the three studies, uh, which is DLPFC uh, autism data set, uh, special DLPFC, and human pilot. And then we'll also see a few plots. This is like a short uh, 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 overview that uh, I have I have in mind for today's presentation. So what is a space ranger? Uh, space ranger is basically a set of analysis pipelines for uh, processing the 10x genomics uh, sequence data, which is mostly the FASTQ files uh, with high resolution uh, images of the tissue, uh, which are called as bright field and uh, uh, fluorescence uh, images. So in the bright field, uh, we see like a, a dark image on the bright background, whereas the fluorescence ones are uh, the images on the dark background. Space Ranger uh, also allows uh, to map the whole transcriptome in the uh, FFPE and the fresh frozen uh, tissues. It provides a pipeline for end-to-end -end analysis of uh, VZM special gene expression experiments. On the uh, right-hand side, we see like a uh, space, uh, the uh, workflow of like Space Ranger and what uh, like, uh, so here we have like uh, upstream analysis, which like the people who make the, uh, who run the Space Ranger, they use, uh, these uh, files, and then for the primary analysis, we uh, we use the uh, pipeline for uh, Space Ranger uh, count, which is uh, used uh, for spatial uh, gene expression, targeted gene expression uh, for uh, the fresh frozen tissues for FFP, and also uh, for the site assist gene expression. So site assist allows uh, is run for like FFP frozen uh, uh, frozen uh, fresh frozen tissues. And then uh, apart from uh, Space Ranger count uh, pipeline, there, is, there are additional uh, uh, analysis uh, steps uh, which uh, take into account the uh, H5 molecule info.h5 uh, molecule.info.h5 uh, files. And uh, it's, it's for uh, targeting, like uh, com uh, it's Space Ranger, it gives uh, the Space Ranger targeted uh, compare then targeted depth, and then another pipeline is the Space Ranger aggregate. But uh, today's focus would be on the Space Ranger count and the files generated uh, from this particular pipeline. And just before like diving deep into this, uh, just about how the Visium slides are for different types of uh, uh, workflows, um, so like, for VZM slides, they have four capture areas, A, B, C, and D. Whereas for the site assist, it is just like the two capture areas, uh, A and D, uh, where uh, we can also find the information uh, such as the uh, version number or the slide number, uh, which starts with like V1 or V2, depending on uh, how many capture areas are on the slide. Uh, four capture areas, so these VZM slides, uh, it, it's usually V1. And for uh, the ones with like uh, site assist, it's V4. Uh, so uh, site assist with, uh, uh, these are like the version numbers. And uh, so, yeah, these can be like, uh, the slides can be uh, 6.5 mm or like 11, point, uh, 11 mm. Uh, slides, and then we can have like additional information uh, like serial numbers. So all this information on the VZM slides, and then uh, it's like the capture areas. Uh, also, like looking at these are like some of the details that you look at, like the barcode. Here we have like the 55 micrometer um, barcoded uh, spots for uh, VZM site assist, 
and for VZM uh, captured areas, there are uh, different bin sizes. This one, like for example, say uh, two micrometer uh, uh, barcoded uh, squares. So just like a uh, basic difference between like the, how the VZM site assist and uh, other VZM slides look like. So VZM assist has uh, two capture areas and uh, normal uh, VZM slides have four capture areas. So to look at the uh, space ranger outputs, which I said uh, today's focus would be uh, looking at the pipeline from the space ranger count. So uh, this is uh, from the VZM, uh, these, th these output files are from the VZM uh, site assist, uh, site assist uh, pipeline. Uh, so here uh, we have like uh, a web, uh, web summary uh, HTML file, and then um, here we can also look at the tissue positions uh, CSV file, which can, which gives us the spot coordinates. We also see if there is like a, a low resolution image, high resolution image. So low resolution can have maximum up to 600 pixels, whereas the high resolution image can have up to 2000 uh, pixel images. Then there are some additional uh, uh, folders, uh, files, which we require like looking at the metrics, features, barcodes, like uh, these are the raw features, uh, metrics, uh, uh, metrics files uh, over here. Then there is like filtered, uh, filtered uh, features, uh, barcode metrics. Then uh, also there is like uh, analysis, uh, deconvolution. So uh, Space Ranger uh, has like different versions and the versions after uh, 2.1, uh, they are supporting the uh, reference uh, reference free spot deconvolution function for v, uh, v1 and v2, but the, uh, the, this support is not available for uh, VZM HD. Uh, like to get more overview of, of the uh, files, um, you can also like the 10x has a good uh, documentation about how about, about the output structure of the files. So here, uh, web summary files, which uh, web summary file, which has like the data summary with uh, images, metrics, uh, plots uh, that can be used for quality uh, assessment. And then, uh, as I mentioned, for the uh, feature barcode metrics contains the tissue associated as well as the uh, background barcodes uh, that can be used for secondary analysis in R and Python. So this particular uh, link uh, shows the output structure and the details for each of the uh, description for each of the output files, like the molecule info H5 is the molecule information used in the additional pipelines, such as the Space Ranger aggregate or the uh, Space Ranger targeted compare, and uh, uh, so on. So, but uh, today's uh, focus is mostly on the, uh, looking at the space, uh, uh, the web summary, uh, web summary HTML and uh, the metrics summary uh, CSV files. Yes, I will be. I will be showing. So here, uh, here is an example of the web summary file. Uh, so this is the like after running the Space Ranger. This is the first file that we look at after running the Space Ranger, and then this particular file uh, tells us if our run was successful or not. So this is uh, an example uh, from the Site Assist uh, file. Uh, site, uh, site assist example. Uh, so this particular uh, web summary file, you can look at, uh, there are like two components to it. One is like showing the summary of the matrices and another is the gene expression. So in the summary, you can look uh, here, you can find the number of spots under uh, the tissue, the mean reads per spot, and then uh, there are like median uh, genes per, uh, per spot. Also like this run summary uh, has uh, the sample ID, uh, the sample description, uh, whereas like the slide serial number for this, how many genes were targeted for 
Site assist in particular, it has it targets around 18,000 uh, 18, uh, genes, um, which was the transcriptome or uh, reference transcriptome associated with this one. Um, and all these things. Then uh, apart from this run summary, there is like uh, sequencing uh, information over here, like number of reads, valid barcodes, uh, valid UMI, sequencing saturation, and uh, like Q30 basis in barcode. And also on the uh, like other side, you can see like the image, uh, which shows uh, the tissue detected and the fiducial uh, alignment uh, for uh, this particular brain number. And uh, the number of spots, uh, like for the, you can find the information for the spots, uh, the fraction reads uh, in spots under the tissue, mean reads per spot. And uh, like you can see all these uh, as numbers over here for uh, the, like as a summary for this particular uh, uh, sample, sample ID. On the uh, second tab, uh, we have like a gene expression and uh, just like a, an example, uh, this uh, shows uh, UMI is detected and then um, the tissue, the plot on the left-hand side is the tissue plots uh, with spots colored uh, by the UMI count. And then on the right-hand side shows the T-SNE projection of the spots colored by the UMI counts. There, are, there is also information about the clustering and uh, uh, TSNE projection of uh, the spots by clustering here. You can have, you can select the clustering type that you want. By default, the uh, clustering type is set to the graph based. So this is the example of uh, from the site assist uh, run. Um, here there is like, uh, I'll show a few uh, different tabs uh, where uh, 10x has a uh, summary for like this is an example for the uh, VZM HD. So you can see like the tabs are uh, different. So it has like a summary uh, image alignment and bin level metrics. Also like just similar to the site assist one, it has like a uh, like a summary, but like key matrices over here. It also has like a mapping information, and then the ones uh, the question marks on the uh, just like a, in a circle, small circle over here, it gives the definition for all these matrices over here. Uh, so for example, the matrices map to probe set. Uh, it is basically the fraction of reads mapped to the with map, uh, map quality uh, greater than zero to the probe set. And then uh, similarly, it has like sequencing information and uh, total UMI count to image alignment and uh, and then it also has like these images, uh, the just as I showed in this uh, in the previous one. Oops. Uh, just like this one. This particular uh, site it shows the web summaries for all different uh, gene expressions from uh, fresh, frozen, uh, the FFP site assist and target targeted gene expression. So this one is like how the uh, summary uh, web summary file looks for, uh, it has like summary and the gene expression for the uh, FFP. Uh, it also has like summary, uh, summary and gene expression tabs. Uh, and uh, this is how you can read it for gene expression. I just showed an example. They also are showing an example for the uh, mouse, uh, like site assist uh, using mouse whole transcription probe set, and then targeted gene expression. So these are like the different summary files. You can uh, find information on these particular sites uh, and try to get a feel of these ones. One, uh, one thing about uh, the Space Ranger 10X is like to here, uh, you can also like uh, change the versions. Like you can look at the older versions because these output files uh, differ with the the version that you are using. Um, so these uh, you can learn. You can take a, a look at the different versions from. You can like uh, over here uh, bottom left. Uh, here you can look at the ver uh, version and then the information about the analysis, running the pipelines, looking at the output files, the web summary files from here.
So we talked about uh, this uh, summaries together, the space rangers, and then just to take a look at uh, what are the uh, metrics summaries that we usually look for. So uh, 10x genomics uh, is uh, like for every different type of uh, the pipeline that we run for, say, uh, fresh frozen tissues or FFP or uh, protein expression matrices or like in general aggregate matrices. So here we can take a look at the metrics and its uh, description. So number of spots is basically the number of barcodes associated uh, with a spot under a particular uh, tissue, uh, number of reads is the total number of read pairs that were assigned, uh, that were assigned. Uh, number of reads per spot is basically the number of reads both under uh, and outside the tissue uh, divided by the number of barcodes associated with a spot under the tissue. Then there is, uh, there are matrices like giving information about the mean reads under tissue per spot, fraction of uh, spots under the tissue, there is uh, information about the valid barcodes. This one is like the fraction of reads with barcodes that match the uh, list, a white list after the barcode correction. There is like uh, valid uh, valid UMIs, uh, which is like the fraction of reads of valid UMIs, that is the unique molecular uh, identification. Uh, these uh, sequences that do not contain uh, any uh, these uh, do not contain any null values or these are not homopolymers. And then also there is information about sequencing saturation and all these terms. And also uh, like for um, differing, like some are related to, these are for uh, direct placement of the probes, and then these ones are like the targeted, uh, these ones are uh, reads mapped to the probe set, like the uh, site assist is a, a probe based, uh, uh, is probe based, so it has some different matrices, uh, which is like the reads mapped to the pro uh, probe read set, um, reads mapped confidently to the probe set, so these uh, these ones, I will just like show how these uh, actually look like. Um, so the metrics, uh, as I had, uh, so Space Ranger web summary file and the uh, web summary file just gives us an overview. And then also these are summarized in the, the matrices are summarized in the metric summary uh, CSV file. Uh, it, uh, so also for uh, the way uh, this summary file, the format has also changed uh, across the Space Ranger versions, but uh, uh, like you can find the information about more of the terms. But uh, as I mentioned for the probe set, so uh, the map quality, uh, so all the map qualities uh, are uh, numbered uh, given the value 0, 1, 3, and 255. So uh, as you can see, like uh, the uh, the, uh, reads uh, mapped to the probe set is basically the they are just considering the map quality uh, greater than zero. So here uh, the value and its description like three uh, two uh, two fifty five means both the reads half map uh, read halves map to the same probe, uh, whereas uh, three means each read maps to the different probes, and uh, one is like uh, read. Uh, one read half uh, half maps to the probe and other does not map. And zero is like neither of the uh, uh, probes uh, map, uh, reads uh, map to the probe. So here uh, we can see uh, these, uh, how the terms, how they have coined the terms. So uh, reads mapped confidently to the probe set is basically the, the map quality 255 and uh, for the maps confidently uh, mapped to the filtered probe set is basically the map uh, quality 255 and in filtered probe set. So I tried to uh, uh, put uh, the, like what are the different matrices uh, in the probe-based site assist data, whereas uh, the direct placement VZM data. Uh, so these are some of the matrices which are uh, explicitly related to the probe-based site assist, which is like the uh, Q30 basis in probe 30 read, uh, reads mapped to the probe set. Uh, 
and number of genes uh, reads half map, just like as I showed in the previous slide, uh, reads half map to the probe set and then also estimated UMIs from genomic DNA and estimated UMIs from the G genomic DNA per unspliced uh, probe. Whereas the ones specific for the direct placement of uh, direct placement rhesium data is uh, reads mapped to the genome, reads mapped confidently to the genome, uh, uh, reads mapped confidently to the uh, intergenic regions, intronic regions, uh, exonic regions, and uh, transcriptome total genes detected. And then some of the uh, some of the matrices are common for both the probe-based probe, probe -based and the direct placement uh, uh, data, which includes like the sample ID, uh, spots under the number of spots under the tissue, number of reads, mean reads per spot, uh, valid barcodes, valid UMIs, uh, median genes per spot, medium UMIs uh, counts uh, per spot. So uh, here we can like get an idea about how these matrices are different uh, for site assist and direct placement visium data, and also uh, they have like some in common. So, uh, in uh, for today's uh, demonstration purpose, I just uh, I have like uh, tried to look at the data, which is the human pilot uh, human pilot data, which has uh, three uh, uh, neurotypical controls. Uh, each has like using three uh, two pairs for each. Uh, so n is like twelve. Here, uh, special DLPFC has uh, n equal to 10 uh, neurotypical uh, controls. But uh, in this study, they uh, look at three blocks, anterior, uh, mid-region, and the posterior. And then uh, in this study, they had identified a few uh, autism, uh, autism related genes. And then uh, that's how, like, this is the project that I am currently working on, uh, DLPFC uh, autism uh, spectrum disorder. So this one has uh, 16 samples, uh, of which eight are uh, neurotypical controls and eight are the uh, autism uh, spectrum disorder uh, samples. So um, yeah, so let us look at some of the uh, plots. This one is basically uh, mean reads per spot. Uh, for uh, we can see this in this graph basically just I'm just trying to uh, look at the uh, how much the range of uh, the mean reads uh, for each of the three studies how how it varies like uh, so uh, this is how we can see uh, for uh, comparatively the number of mean reads per spot for DL uh, PFC which is like a site assist uh, so DL PFC ASD uh, uh, is the site assist and these one uh, the the human pilot and special DL PFC these are the uh, uh, direct placement uh, VZM, VZM, uh studies so uh, comparatively the mean reads per spot uh, for the site assist uh, uh the these are captured uh, the numbers are less compared to the the targeted uh targeted ones like the di direct placement ones similar uh, but uh, for the median reads the spread of the uh, data for the site assist is more uh more compared to uh that of human pilot and the special dlpfc Mm. Here, um, I have tried to compare um, some uh, the matrices with respect to number of reads, like uh, the like to just look at how uh, the spread of a uh, number of read uh, number of mean reads versus the number of reads for all the three datas uh, look like. Like looking at uh, valid UMIs versus the Q30 basis. Uh, in the DLPFC, uh, this is, I'm showing for the DLPFC, uh, like looking at the DLPFC uh, plot for valid UMIs versus the, I was just curious to look at the valid UMIs and uh, the Q30 basis. There is kind of a negative correlation between this one. Uh, Q30 is basically like uh, how much the valid UMIs uh, are reaching uh, the score. Um, more uh, 
Q30 is more, uh, uh, more rigid uh, for the valid UMIs uh, in, the, uh, in the matrices. So uh, Q30 basically, uh, it shows like it has a good um, percentage of, uh, uh, good percentage of uh, the Q30 basis uh, in barcode in the cytosis data. So this is DLPFC human pilot and uh, special DLPFC. So uh, it has, it goes up to like, it captures up to 90, more than 97% uh, uh, over here, uh, like, but then these are some samples. Uh, these are some outliers, uh, some brain sam uh, samples that we need to uh, look into because these are not being, uh, these are like, th this is like uh, comparatively a bit away from uh, the Q30 basis in the barcode. Also, uh, this is one of the plots that I just want to show is uh, the reads map confidently to the probe set. So this one basically uh, shows like the closer uh, it gets to one, uh, it shows uh, that like how how confident uh, how uh, in this basically I'm showing like the diagnosis and the uh, di like the red ones are the autism and the uh, blue one is the controlled ones. So these uh, are the sam all these samples these are uh, like almost uh, they show close to one but. This particular slide, I think, uh, this one has a problem. Um, so we we had got to know. Uh, so from this, we can understand. Uh, like while we look at these graphs, uh, we can uh, understand. Um, we can understand like if the reads are uh, like correctly mapped uh, to the uh, probe set or not. So this is one of the metrics uh, that uh, we should like try to look at. So like the ones. Uh, as it gets closer to one, that means the reads are mapped, uh, like the reads are rightly mapped to the probe set. And uh, like compared to uh, the three studies, um, there are like high UM accounts in the uh, probe based and uh, more mapping confidence uh, in the uh, probe based uh, site assist uh, study. So this uh, this is what I had uh, for uh, today. I would like to thank uh, all my team members, uh, Leo, Cynthia, Louis, Nick, and also uh, Kristen, Stephanie, and uh, Ryan, who have given uh, us like the data, like the experimental, uh, the people behind the, the experimental team. Yes. That's it. Thank you.